Hello, I'm Damian Mitchell. Former Jamaica Labour Party councillor Don Query and his co-accused Janique Williams are to return to court on December 11 to answer to sex charges. The matter was mentioned on Friday and their bail extended until the next court date. The Bahamas Supreme Court has ordered the immediate release of a Jamaican man who had been illegally jailed for the past nine years under immigration laws which his attorneys say do not exist. Matthew Sewell was 18 years old when he first illegally went to the Bahamas to visit his father. The police are now probing the shooting of six people in St. James on Thursday night. They were at a bar on the Tucker Main Road in Grant Hill when men aboard a Toyota Corolla drove up and opened fire, injuring them. The government has said it would be willing to consider establishing Jamaica's own final court in the future as it urges the opposition to immediately leave the London-based Privy Council. Justice Minister Senator Mark Golden made the comment on Friday as he opened the debate in the Senate on the three bills to establish the CCJ as Jamaica's final court. In sports, prolific striker Khadija Shaw netted a hat-trick to guide Jamaica's under-20 female footballers to a comfortable 4-1 victory over St. Vincent and the Grenadines. In your weather forecast, on Saturday there will be isolated showers over eastern parishes. In the afternoon there will be widely scattered showers and thunderstorms mainly across central and western parishes. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. I'm Damian Mitchell.